today we're going to be looking at EDP and past paper questions and answers for 2012. And the first question says, list four components of a computer system that are necessary for the system to work efficiently. What are those four? You know you need your hardware, your software, data, that's what you put into the system, and the user. So the computer system is not complete without us, the user, the data, the hardware, and the software. So those are the four components of a computer system. All right? Number two, what term is used to describe a collection of characters of a particular size and shape? What is the answer? What describes a collection of characters of a particular size and shape? Font. Yes. <laughs> All right, B, left, center, and right alignments are types of formats used in document preparation. List three other formats that may be used. Justify, yes, you could. Bold, yes. Yes, italicize it or put it in italics. You could underline it as well. Bullet it. You could also number it. And there are others. So these are a few. C. State two types of headings that can be used in a document. Yes, subheading, main heading, paragraph heading. Marginal heading, shoulder heading. So you have to remember all the types of headings. Remember now you're going to be getting multiple choice questions. So once you know all of them, you are able to eliminate to find your answer. So make sure you know all of them. Good. Number three, in a company, it is very important to maintain the integrity of files. Stay two ways in which the integrity of files can be maintained. And what I also notice is that several past papers come with questions regarding the integrity of files. So please make sure you have or know your content on files. All right? All right, so one, you could prepare a backup copy of all your files and folders. Uh, remember we spoke about that one day last week? You need to ensure that you have backup copies of your files and folders, right? Ensure the storage media is acting as it should. So make sure, make sure that it is in good working condition. Defrag your computer. You know what defrag means? There's a, a feature in Windows that allows you to defrag your computer, which basically puts files and folders back into place. Sometimes when your computer is running very slowly, after a while it runs slowly, it just simply needs to be defragged. All right? You could use password, like, like Alia said earlier. You could use password to access your files and to even edit your files. Another one is to make your file read only, meaning you can only, well, you, when you make a file read only, you allow it to only be accessed and be read. You can't edit it. So you can read the file as you can view what is there, but you can't do anything to it. Everybody's understanding? All right, number four. Copy the following letter into your answer booklet using a semi-blocked style. Last week I told you that they not only use block style or indented style, but semi-block style as well. 
Now, looking at this, you can see that it is entirely a block style document. Am I correct? Everything is to the left margin. Now, how do you semi block a letter? The date of the top would be to the right. The right side, the date at the top, that would be to the right. The, the ending, yours, th th uh, yours sincerely, King Wang, that would be to the center. That would be center. Semi-blocked. Semi right? So, I did it. That What we're looking at is block style. So, to semi-block style it, it would, it would look like this now. So the date would be to the right, you'd write a line the date, and yours truly, sincerely, I keep saying truly, yours sincerely, King Wong, would be in the center. All right? And you know for indented, the paragraphs will be indented. List five documents that may be prepared in a set of financial statements. List, five, list three documents that may be used, sorry, list three documents that may be prepared in a set of financial statements. So you have balance sheet, trial balance, and profit and loss. And you know Excel is what is used for this, right? It is designed specifically for that. Number six. The administrative assistant of BC Company with offices in Belize, St. Lucia, and Saba is preparing for the company's annual general meeting. A. State three documents that should be prepared for the meeting. And that's pretty easy. Yes, Alia? Memo? Why memo? What is a memo used for? So in terms of informing persons of a meeting, you would use a memo. You would, you would send them a notice of meeting. And you would write, make sure you prepare your minutes of the last meeting. So that's a second document. And you need your agenda. Are you following? All right, so once it comes on to meeting, you know definitely those three is a must. You send a notice of the meeting, you prepare an agenda for the meeting and your minutes of the meeting. All right? He says, list two ways that the documents stated in A above may be transmitted electronically. Via email, very good. Facsimile, remember, that's the long word for fax, F-A-X. The correct word is facsimile. File transfer, transfer protocol is uh, another one. Look at number seven. These you also need to pay attention to. You also need to pay attention to this. Copy the table below in your answer booklet and complete it to show the appropriate orientation and paper size for each document. A three-fold newspaper, the paper size would be A4. The orientation, it would be landscape. Landscape is when you turn the paper long way, like this. Upright is portrait. Long way or sideways, if you want to put it that way, is landscape. All right? So this is how you would have your three-fold paper in landscape position. And then you know you would fold it in three. Party invitation. Party invitation is usually done on an A5 size paper. And the paper orientation would be portrait. So it, it would be looking normal, right? The set or the layout would be normal, which is portrait. Lease agreement, still A4, still portrait. Let us move to number eight. 
In keyboarding, columnar work is an example of a simple display, while a flowchart is an example of an advanced display. List three other examples of each type of display. Remember last week we looked at this? Simple and advanced displays. You realize you come back again? So you know. Once you see questions like these keep repeating itself, you know you need to pay attention to it and know it. All right? All right. So three other examples of simple display would be menus, invitations, and cards. And remember, it's not limited to these alone. You have other types. Please go and revise them. Right? So programs, flyers, notices, those are other types of simple display. All right? Three other types of advanced display would be organization charts, graphs, or charts. Some people use the word charts, graph, charts, same thing. Right? Newsletters, leaflets of four, five and eight pages, reports, storyboards, press releases, and like I said, it's not limited to these alone. So revise them and make sure you know them. All right? Number nine. The teacher reminded the students to avoid plagiarism when preparing their assignments. A, describe the concept of plagiarism. Second time since we've been meeting, we've come across plagiarism. Who remembers what it is? Go ahead. Right, and they pass it off as if it's their own. All right, very good. B says state two guidelines that, should, that students should follow to avoid plagiarism. What are the things you should do to avoid plagiarism? No. You can put it in your own words. So you don't use by the words of the author or whoever you take the word from or whoever work you're using. So you use it, put it in your own words. Another way is to reference or source where you get it from. So you could put it in a bibliography or a reference list. So you give credit to these people who you are taking your information from. You cite it. You cite it. If it. Especially if it is a research paper, you have to cite it. Cite your sources. Right? All right. So, like I have here, use a bibliography to cite all sources of information. Could be a reference list. Obtain approval for the use of the work of another person. And another guideline is to use the information to develop your own ideas. And that's what I meant when I said, put it in your own words. Number 10. The picture shows a scene from a work environment where computers are being used. Identify five indicators of a careless working environment. Carefully look at it and tell me, what do you notice? Yeah, it is in a kitchen. Why is a desktop in a kitchen? It should not be in a kitchen. Exactly. You should not have it on a stool. And a stool shouldn't even be there. You should have a computer desk. You should have an appropriate computer chair and desk. Right. Too many wires are in the pathway. There shouldn't be any wire in the pathway, in the walkway. It is exposed to the sun that can cause overheating as well. Right? So wrong location to begin with. So the computer is exposed to the sun, which can cause overheating, as, as you said. The computers are in the kitchen, which should not be. It should be in a cool place. Food and drink should not be around the computers. Look closely. There is food and drink on the computer desk. Look at it. Are you seeing it? 
Wires should not be hanging in pathway as this can cause trip hazard. Laptop should not be on a stool. It should be on a desk. Right? Very good.